This is going to be a quick video on how to find a rational number between two rational numbers. You can do this, these questions using as many different methods as you want, but today we're going to use it. We're going to solve the questions by finding the mid value. So if I have a fraction such as 2 over 3 and 1, and I want to find a rational number between them, so I want to find a fraction that's between them, um, you could change one to have the same denominator as 3 and then pick any value that's in between. Or you can actually find the average. So the midpoint or the middle point is the easiest way to find a number you're looking for between any two numbers. So in order to find the average of two numbers or the middle point of two numbers, you always add them and then divide by 2. Um, so that's what we're going to do for this question. So we have 2 over 3 plus 1 all divided by 2. Now you can plug this into your calculator. You, can, you need to put brackets in the numerator first. Or we could go through the calculations ourselves. So that's 2 over 3 plus 1 over 1. Remember, you can always change a whole number into a fraction by putting it over 1. And then we change one, we change this fraction to have the same denominator as the other fraction. So we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 3. So we get 2 over 3, add 3 over 3 over 2. And then we can add the fraction, so we get 5 over 3 over 2. To write this in a much simpler form, this is, only, this is simply 5 over 3 divided by 2. And then we use the rules for dividing fractions, which is uh, we keep the first fraction, we flip the sign, and then we flip um, the second fraction. We change the sign, we flip the second fraction, so it's going to be 1 over 2. And then we multiply normally, 5 over 6. So 5 over 6 is a fraction right in the middle between 2 over 3 and 1. And any other, f we can find even more rational numbers in between these two numbers so we can expand on our work so on a number line where we have 2 over 3 and 1 we found 5 over 6 we can repeat this process as many times as we want to find as many rational numbers as we want so we can repeat it with 5 over 6 and 1 or 2 over 3 and 5 over 6 um, I'll continue with 2 over 3 and 5 over 6. You can pause this video to use this as a practice. So, first step is we add the two numbers that we have, and then divide by 2. So, again, to, we need to change the denominators to be the same. It's much easier to see that I can change this fraction to have the same denominator as the other. So I'm just going to multiply by 2, and I'm going to get 4 over 6 plus 5 over 6, all divided by 2. We add the two numbers, so that's 9 over 6 all over 2, which is 9 over 6 divided by 2. Again, we use the rules for division, so we have 9 over 6 times 1 over 2, and that's simply 9 over 12. Uh, we can't simplify this any further and so this is the rational number between uh, 2 over 3 and 5 over 6 right in the middle. And again you can repeat this process as many times as you want. So if a question comes and it asks how many rational numbers are there between say 2 over 3 and 1, well there are infinitely many because you can repeat this process so many times. Now this also proves one more thing, is that the rationals are dense in the reals. And what this means is that if you take a real number or a number line and you zoom in and as many times as you want or you just magnify into one area, as much as you want, you will always find rational numbers in there. Now the real numbers are 
much bigger than the rational numbers. However, there are infinitely many rational numbers within a um, real number line.